Welcome. Namaste. Let's look at um, something more closer to you. The ego. The mind. The mind can understand this quite clearly. The mind. Let's invite the mind into the daily talk. And look at something that is much recognizable. But again, my job is not to question. It is not to take a particular path. It is just to open up the mind and see if it can be exposed. See if we can look at ego and get it angry so that it, that it leaves the room. My job is only to point and not in a particular place. Just words coming and see what and how mind reacts to these words. <clears throat> the mind, you, can react any way you like. Like I say, I would I would guess that most would avoid most of these words for fear of their whole world of thought, the whole identity world being exposed, the whole precious me being exposed. And it's not fun. Take it from one who used to be the person who is no longer a thing with identity. Oh yes, I have a name, a place, a work, a job, a family. But I cannot recognize past and future and the present moment being separate places. They are all the same. Everything is the same. Human, world, planets, universe, all the same, coming from the same point. We are born as one, reborn as many. Anyway, see the past is gone. I struggle. Something physical for the mind to get angry at. And I hope you get angry. I don't hope. I don't know how you're going to react. I don't mind. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully that introduction points at a pretty nonsensical, nonsensical way of in, introducing something. There's no logic. Because what, that's what I want to talk about to the mind. That education and society is to point you in a, in, in a direction of logic. Let's make everything sensible. Let's organize our life and make everything achievable. So that we can go from A to B to C to D, E, E. F, G, H. And bah, voila, you've retired and you're about to die. And you think, whoa, I learned all this logic to prepare me for something. And when it has come, I have no time to use it. And the irony of it is, and this is where the mind, there's no logic. There's nothing logical. There is no sense. There is no organized, achievable way. There is just chaos.
but it's beautiful chaos. You see, your mind is taking you to the world and what is happening in different countries, in different things. You think chaos, you see. Your logic has said the word chaos means the whole world's at war. There is no organized structural forms. The, the boundaries have been broken. Everything, immigration, oh my God, politics, everything comes in. The mind, oh, we need logic. There is no logic. What is logic? What is logical about a human being born, living and dying? What makes sense about that? Why not be here forever? That makes true logic. That is true logic. Is to keep things in an organized way and control so that they're here forever. And we don't have to worry about change anymore because we were fine. We're fine. Everything is done. Yeah, we are just a perfect human race. And we live forever in a body. And there's no fighting, no war. No peace, no chaos, there is just this logic, bullshit. And we find this logic and then the dinosaurs return. Well that wasn't supposed to happen, no because nature, nature is not logical. Nature changes every single moment, as does your body, your nature. Your whole consciousness is a, an, an image of nature, changing. New species arrive daily. Species become extinct daily, all over this world. At the bottom of the ocean, in the rainforest, in the skies, what is logical about that? We've achieved logic. We are such a happy society and everything is fine. And then a big, gigantic, 400 feet wave comes from one side of the world and washes over everything. That wasn't supposed to happen. What is this logic? What is logic? Show me logic. Show me logic. Show me what it is. We talk about logical. We need to be more logical. It is a it is a sport. It is it a sport in the Olympic Games? The logical competition? It does not exist. It is another invention by humanity. There's no conspiracy. You, you really have to watch that you don't start blaming others for this. We're all collectively responsible for this. We all willingly put our children to school. We all willingly went to school. We all willingly allow society to make rules and regulations and we all willingly follow them. We are society, we are education, we are this whole thing. We are this whole conspiracy collectively, if you want to say it's a conspiracy, but it's our own doing. We create logic and it does not exist. It cannot be fulfilled. Logic is another concept, a notion, another thought, another way of experiencing. And when we look at it like that, that's fine. That is fine. That we know deep down inside that when we try and build this thing, there may be a chance of it not working. There may be a chance of it being destroyed. There is nothing logical. In fact, nothing is the only thing that is logical. Nothing is the only thing that cannot be destroyed. Unfortunately, we are all nothing. Ness. 
So the one inside cannot be destroyed. So therefore, it is okay to go through and be illogical or logical because it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if we build something and it gets destroyed. The whole point is, why do we take it so seriously? Allow the world and education and society to try and establish logic, but don't really get attached to it. Don't worry about what politicians are doing, scientists are doing, religious sects are doing. Don't worry about what is happening on any side of the world. You can participate, you can get angry, but there is a separation. The only separation is from mind. And this it also is temporary because this separation also can be destroyed by mind. It's quite funny. You have to laugh. You really have to take this with some sort of humor. Your mind is frazzled. Show me logic. Show me something that is 100% logical, that will never be destroyed, that will never be exposed, that will never change, that will never move. that will never be understood and never misunderstood. Even words are not logic. It's a crazy world, which is a very apt word for the world we live in because crazy means illogical. So really, what is the difference between logic and illogical? Only the spelling. Only the way we talk about them. Only the concept of what they are. Take away all this and what have we got left? A world, a planet, a universe of moving forms. And they move in their own direction. Even you cannot walk logically. Namaste.